76-year-old Adalberto Jimenez sums up his life's work with a simple sentence. In my life, I tried to give a voice to people that didn't have one. He was born in Tolleson, Arizona in a farm workers' labor camp. He started working the fields at a young age to help support his family. Looking for a better way of life, he joined the Marines, where he was trained as a machinist. He also earned the Navy Marine Cross for saving the life of his sergeant. When he came home, he tried to find work using the trade he'd learned in the Marines. The union here was not accepting Mexicans into their union. So, you know, I went back to the fields. That's when I saw a little short guy coming at noon to talk to us, and it was Cesar. The short guy was Cesar Chavez of the United Farm Workers. It was 1965 and Chavez inspired Adalberto to become a community activist in Phoenix to help migrant workers obtain better living and health conditions. Al was a, a community organizer um, in, those, in those rough times when, when farm workers were much more on the edge of society even than they are now. Over the last 30 years, Adalberto's main focus has been his volunteer efforts with Adelante Healthcare. His thousands of hours of work helped establish Adelante Healthcare so that migrant workers in Arizona had a place to go for affordable healthcare. It was established in the early 70s. There was probably 900 people that went through it. Today, there's 26,000 people that go through it. So bringing healthcare, needed healthcare, to the migrant farm workers. Today, Adalberto's work with Adelante Healthcare continues. He's honored his pledge to give a voice to those who have none. And his dream to create a better America for the working poor lives on. We have an awakening, uh, an awareness in people, and they've learned that sooner or later, they're going to see in their own children, they are going to say, hey, somewhere along the line, my kid picked up kindness, intelligence, and is going to help make this nation better because the underground hate and depriving people of opportunities is going to be wiped out.